That's right. We are cracking open the final two double feature boxes. Oh my goodness. What a freaking run this has been. Like, this this has been crazy. We are uh, going to be open. I think the total is nine. Nine boxes have been opened on this channel. And uh, if you're curious what we got so far, I'll spare you having to go back and watch all of it. I can't tell you the prices on everything, though. You'd have to go back. and I think I priced a couple of these videos. Um, we pulled three foil mythics so far. We ended up getting the Ren and Seven. I think I got a couple of theories. Got the Chandra. I mean, we got a lot of the Planeswalkers, if not every single one. You know, big shout out to Ground Zero over in Cleveland, Ohio, if you're in the area. Let me check them out. They're in Strongsville, Ohio, suburb of Cleveland, about 20 minutes south of Cleveland. Uh, but check them out, man, on Pearl Road. Great, great place to go. Very nice people in there. Tell Marcus hello. All right, guys. Let's get into cracking Captain. Oh my goodness. All right, we're at the point now. I gotta know, who has, who has purchased double feature? Who has purchased double feature? Who has gone out and bought packs of double feature? Did you, you have to go to a local game store, I believe, to get your hands on these. You can't get them just like anywhere, right? I'm pretty certain that's how it goes. We're looking for them big bombs though. Big bombshells, here we go. All right, nothing, uh, nothing too much starting out. Dig up, okay. All right, where's the mythics? Seriously? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I opened a Mythic yet. All right. We'll get one, though. I have a feeling we'll get one. Like, right now. Are you feeling that? I'm feeling that. I thought I saw something crazy. <sighs> Dirty. Dirty girl. There you go. Liar. It looks like a liar. And Stormcraft Coast. Nice pack. This was truly a good pack. That was a really good pack, man. And Diagraph Scavenger in the back. Oh, that looks cool. That's like probably one of the first... This might be the first or second time I've seen this card opened. It looks amazing, guys. It looks freaking amazing. Yeah. I, I want, like, I think one of every card from this whole set. I think it's a really neat set. I do. And then just put them away. Never touch them. We got Floridian. Sure, we'll call it Floridian. Savior of Olenbach. First time pulling Olenbach. I think we've pulled almost every single Mythic you could get. And there's quite a lot of Mythics distributed in this product. Um, was there 30? Are there 30 Mythics in all? I think about 30. I might, be, I, might, I might be right about that. Might not be. I don't know. But I think 30. 30 Mythics. That's a lot. Gissa. Gissa and the old inspired idea would startle. Oh, wow. Don't scare me like that. I, I, you scared me so bad. I dropped the only thing protecting me, my sword. Ooh. Ooh, I'm a genius. All right, here we go. Keeping it trucking, keeping it trucking. Look over the big values. <laughs> Always look over the big values. Mythic foil is just crazy pricing on a lot of these. Village watch. See that? That foil? No, you don't? Neither do I. All right, keep it a go. But <laughs> our foils. I guess there was also a lot of problems with distribution, not only just like to, to stores and shit, but uh, there was a lot, did I say, a little bit, not a lot, not, not, not a lot of distribution problems, but more so distributing the cards inside the packs was a bigger deal, <laughs> was a big freaking problem, man. Uh, been hearing nightmares, people opening boxes, not pulling <laughs> any rare or mythic cards. God, the food upstairs smells amazing. Can you imagine spending all this money not to pull a single freaking rare mythic? Like, what? Like, how sad would that make you? They're suspicious stowaway. Maybe we should just open these backwards. Try that out. Uvenwald Behemoth. There you go. We could try that out. You want me to try that out? There's Graveyard Glutton. I mean, it's just really weird seeing everything backwards. Because um, there's no point to go through all this, right? No, there's not. I mean, there's some uh, good uncommon value, I guess, but not a whole lot. Maybe, like maybe four cards worth over a dollar. No, maybe like five, six. Maybe five, six over a dollar in that slot. Let's go big. Go big or go home. Ooh, Willow Geist. Uh, and the old Wolf Rider with Burn the Accursed. I'll let you guys know when I'm all done with this. How many Mythics in total? I want to say it was nine boxes that we opened. Nine, nine boxes, guys? Nine boxes, I think, or is it ten? I thought I was supposed to get ten. I don't know. I think nine. 
Bam, Rockfall Veil looking hot to trot right there. And then dig up. Well, Gale Drifter. And I'm going to let you know some really interesting details when we're all sitting and done with this. Um, like, as far as how many mythic cards, how many foil mythics, how many rare foils, how many of the lands, and how, just how many mythics in all. I think that there's some really interesting stuff and research that we can uh, share here. Lord of the Forsaken. Oh, you bazaka. Big boy. And Valderan Estate. Nice pack right there. With some nice value. Homestead Courage. We're going to say Homestead Courage, I know. Valderan Estate, that's probably one of the better, like, rare land cards. You probably wouldn't think, but that is probably going to be more valuable down the road. I think the foil of that might be, like, 8 to 10 bucks. Not too positive, though. Not too positive. Oh, my God. The food smells so good. Someone's upstairs cooking heaven bakery. What have you guys ate? What have you ate in the last, uh, what, what did you eat today? And what do you plan on eating? What are you eating right now? Because, man, I just keep smelling food, and I'm getting starving, bros. <laughs> Share with me what the heck you're munching on. I want to eat some of that, too. Dire Overlord, pretty cool. That's a great card. Glorious Sunrise. That, this one probably in foil would be nice. Very nice. And there's Angelic Chattermaster. It's Quartermaster, stupid. Whatever. Total Alarm. I wonder if he's still over, like, $5. Man, it's been a while since I cracked these. Well, since I opened a total art, at least. Yeah, we never opened these before. <laughs> uh, Curse, the Shaken Faith, Halana, and Elena Danner Tanner, and the old <laughs> zombie. Look at that, dude. You can barely tell it's even foil, man. There's, like, this tiny little gloss on it. I wonder if that's going to be a, a cause for less bending and the quality control department stepped it up. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just do not know, guys. Here we go. Da -da -da, Falcon Wrath Full Barrel. Uh, I am dying, though, to really go to a nice restaurant. Maybe I'll take Jack's. I'll kind of take him somewhere real freaking nice, you know? Like, spend like, spend like $100, you know? Spend like 100 bucks. on me and him. Just go to freaking town. I don't know where I'm I don't know what I would buy. That's $100 for me and a two-year-old at a restaurant. <laughs> You know, so I have no freaking clue what I would. I, 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 mm, 50 bucks? I think the most expensive meal I ever ate, pith, uh, Pithing Needle uh, and Puppeteer, was, uh, and I love it, it was filet mignon, shark, and lobster at one of those, uh, like, hibachi-style restaurants where they cook the food in front of you on the grill. Oh, baby. That meal was 50 bucks. It was rice also with it, and I had shrimp on the side, I think, with, um, what, what was the last thing? Um, uh, casino rolls. Oh, so good, man. So freaking good. Um, yeah, I was in heaven that day. So what is, what is uh, the, the biggest, or what's the most expensive, or not even got to be most expensive, what is, like, the coolest thing you've ever, oh, ever ate? Evolving Wilds? Say, what is that? I'm supposed to well, search your library for basic land card. Put over the show. That card is crazy. It's like busted, dude. Oh, I like the text. says in the text there, too. That's really good. Okay, nice evolving wild. We'll put it off to the side. Hot damn. Okay. Cool. But yeah. Uh, okay, sorry. I just got thrown off right there. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that card before. Like, anywhere. So, that's pretty cool, man. Very unique art there, too. Runo Stormkirk and Old Sticky Fingers. That's probably a nice... Like, that's one of the better ones. But regardless, I'm putting all the foil rares up in that pile up top. All of them go up there. They all go in the special pile. Look, Kyle, you're special. He's like, he knows my name! All right. Uh, yeah, but tell me, what is the coolest thing you freaking ever ate? You know, or like... Like a delicacy that you've had. That, this would be a cool combo. Hey, this doesn't go here. Go to your home. You go over there too, pal. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, oh, man. Oh, my God. Nothing like Flamin' Yon Steak and... Uh, Flamin' Yon Shark. Shark was the crazy thing, man. Shark is so freaking good. Um, oh, my God. It's like the cow of the ocean, right? Is that what they say? I don't know purifying dragon and for those who don't eat meat to each his own man i'm not i'm not hating on you for not eating meat but i i love me some meat i love me some some sharky <laughs> i've only had shark i think two or three times in my entire life and every time i eat it oh, heavens to betsy 
But like I get the other things with it, you know, and it all just kind of blends up. Like it's all like the same, you know. I wrecked his thong. Um, it just all blends up to like kind of taste the same. In my, when I when I like when I sit down and start smashing everything, you know. Uh, but oh man, and then you got to get the yum yum sauce. Oh, get some yum yum sauce. Throw it all over everything. Just blend it all together. Hot damn, baby, we are living in heaven. It's probably a good uh, foil. Uh, I bet. Uh, price wise, Tovalar's Huntmaster. That card I remember was whatever jacked up too. Pre release is so funny. Just the, the crazy jacked up prices, man. Freaking bonkers. I thought we saw something there. Nope. Okay, keeping it moving. Let's go. Big hit. Ooh, Storm the Festival. And ooh, nice. That is a big hit. Shattered Sanctum. That's a very nice hit right there. Grafted Identity. Another foil rare. Bob Bang. Look at this guy. He's having fun, huh? All right. We have. I think we almost went through a box. Almost. Almost box way through. We will see. Here we go, baby. We got the old Demnick mm, Path of Peril. Ah, oh, Fierce Retribution. That was one of those I felt we were going to get something really juicy. And we just kind of fell short there. You know? Fell a little short there, pal. Fell a little short. Uh, Field of Ruin. Pop it, Stitcher. This is like a $10 card. That's not bad. Still up there. That's cool. So, damn. See, double... I feel like, do you get, maybe maybe it's every box we get a double, like a double mythic. I think every every box almost has been like that. No triple mythic packs yet, which I would assume is extremely possible, all things considered. We're opening double, and there is a, a foil slot in the back. So I guess there, if anyone's pulled a triple mythic pack out of one of these, out of one of these guys, not a, out of another product. We know it could happen. I think I opened five mythics in, in one. No, I got five rare or mythic cards in one pack of cards before. Or was it six? I don't know. It was a lot. I was just blown away. It's a pretty cool card. And foil, probably worth something, huh? Stormkirk and Festival Crasher. Right now, we have not seen any impressive foil hits yet. So I'm kind of assuming we're about to hit something juicy here in the foil slot. Let's see. Can't stay away. Wedding announcement. Defend straight. Why would you want to do that? Okay. Def is that even a word? Defense straight? Defense. Defense straight. What? Defense straight. Why would you want to do that? Okay, moving along. Here we go. It's <laughs> a weird name for a card. Sun Gold Sentinel. Dollhouse of Horrors and Cruel Witness. I cannot tell where the witness is, but there's something going on there. Because I, I, I was told so by the card. The card told the card's talking to me, guys. <laughs> Can you imagine? You wake up in the morning and there's magic the gathering cards talking to you. You're not dreaming anymore. Like, what, what do you guys want from me? <laughs> That'd be scary if magic cards came to life. Oh my god. I would use them for so many crazy fun ideas, though. Storm the Festival. I feel like you pulled like three of these already. Shattered Sanctum. Very, very cool. Put that aside. And the old cavalry. Here comes the cavalry. Come on, baby. We need that funny money, honey. Need that funny money. Shrink. Price of our friend Renan7 has gone down a little bit more. That is the life, though. Consuming Tide. Might be up there. Guess a glorious... Resurrector? Yeah. Oh, she's got some nice art. I like that. Very nice art. All right, I'll put that over here. Oops. I think consume. No. It's consuming time was board wipe kind of cards. Return on online permanence. Not chosen this one. I'm going to cover each. Yeah. Maybe something. Well, they're all something, though. All right, here we go. Big hit. Geist consuming tide. Again, it's like I got to look up that card. It's like, it's like stalking me. Hero's downfall foil. Very nice. Remember when that card was a rare? Whoop. Pepperidge Fall remembers. Here we go. Still trucking along. Swing. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are going to break the mold here. Oh, see what I'm saying? Dirty. Let's see what else? Mm -hmm. oh, we get to slaughter. Wedding announcement and retrieve. That's some sick art, too. All right. Yeah. If anything, you got to appreciate how the black and white looks. Like, the whole black-white theme, the horror, like, the genre theme. Really freaking cool, man. Really cool. There's our Tavern Swindler, dude. Something like that. There we go. 
Yeah, if anything. All right. So, your thoughts, opinions, has anything changed uh, now that you've seen all this crazy sauce here? Uh, after seeing a billion packs open on Joey Moss's channel, have your thoughts changed at all? There you go. We got Luminous Phantom. I like flipping them. I actually kind of like showing the back side of the card, too, uh, because I don't always flip the cards, you know? So I think that it shows, <laughs> that's just like straight up, boom, right in your face, the back side. It's kind of cool. Kind of, you know? Sungle, Olivia's Attendance, probably both bulky. The Sun Gold is probably worth more. Okay, come on. Big money. Big money. I'm smelling something, man. Can't stay away. Purveyor. <laughs> Upside down foil forsaken thrasher. There you have it. For boating statue. Not expecting an upside down card there. That was uh that was a little wild ride. That was a wild ride. What was can't stay away again? Was it you? Return target creature card with mana value three. Or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It gains the creature would die. Exile it instead. Okay. She can't keep bringing that. I guess that back. It's a flashback cost, too. I like that. Another Evolving Wilds. Welcome. We're getting nutty with those, huh? Delver of Secrets. That's right. I bet the Delver of Secrets uncommon foils were a pretty penny. Calling Olivia Crimson Bride. Thank you for showing up. First time we have pulled you gorgeous. Very, very cool. Hurry. <laughs> Gotta hit it, baby. And the Beguiler. The Beguiler? What does it say? The, be the Beguiler. Someone's like, he said a Beguiler. He said a Booga. All right, here we go. That was a nice pool. That was a nice pool. What else? It's Curse of the Shaken Faith. Cigar to Summons and Demonic Bargain. Rare foil. Look at that. Shoom, shoom, shoom. Makes a nice shine right there. Okay. The product does look dull, but when you have it in your hands, it really does pop. Like... There, there's, a, there's a nice popping to the whiteness, you know? Like, it goes poppy. Like some poppy seed. Uh, there we got this, the Geist. And the Crawler. Scab Wrangler. No foil mythic, but there's a chance we don't pull one. We, I, we opened three of them. Three? What, was it three foil mythics or two? I can only think of two off the top of my head, but I thought we had three. I don't know if it'll wait watch. We'll see. Reckless Storm. Creepy Puppeteer. If you've watched... All of this entire series. I got to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for um, finding this that entertaining. I've watched all of it after I created it. <laughs> I rewatch every single show. Or, yeah, after I open it, I'm like, God, what did I do here? Especially when I do edits and videos. But if you watch every single one as well, thank Oh, Sigarda. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely hit that like if you've done all that. Uh, it means a lot. Champion of Light. But what are your thoughts now um, that you've seen... All of these opened. Uh, we are on to the last, the absolute last box right now. We have about 10 packs to go. Big thanks again to Ground Zero uh, for letting me crack these open for the shop. It's very nice of them. Here we go. Pithing Needle. God, yeah. It took you a while to show up there, baby. But we have pulled basically almost every freaking card you could get. Basically all the Mythic cards. There's Undead Butler in the foil. Um, I can't believe it's not butter. Uh, but really freaking neat. I can't wait to see all the cards we pulled all together. Uh, you know, like how many mythics and all that craziness. Here we go. Rock, Fall, of Veil. I would really like to see a double freaking land, like, rare pack. Like, I don't see that. I don't think we do it, like, ever. There's Odric, Blood Cursed. Like, the only way I think you get a double rare land pack is, is if we were to open one regular and one foil and that's another thing i haven't really pulled many foil land rares so those suckers got to be really freaking scarce i don't think we opened any i don't i can't think of that i don't i cannot think of any or think in general but yeah um this is true wow man i don't i cannot i cannot say with certainty that i've opened a, a foil rare land from this product and if that's the case, wow, those are scarce. Uh, Resurrector, Storm Carved Coast, B E A, beautiful card, and a foil servitor. Servitor, servitor. Ser I'm a servitor. Okay, whatever. We have six packs that go. Ooh, and this is your first time watching this video, watching any of these openings. Wow, that's impressive. Just saying, throwing it out there. All right, we go with Absence, Ill-Tempered Loner. And a foil. Ooh, you're under some bad time there. 
Mm-hmm. Aaron got his failed you, sir. Certainly. That's not good. All right. Poor guy. Hope he gets better. All right. Flipping and ripping, baby. We are down to the last few packs. This has been a freaking real treat. Ballista. Adversary. Bloodthirsty adversary. I don't think we opened her yet, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Torrin's Fist of the Angels. Followed by a rare stalwart slayer foil. A lot of freaking foil rares. I think on average, was it three or four foil rares in every single box? On average, yeah, three or four. That's that's what I've noticed. Okay. Like 3.5, I'd say. 3.5. Stalwart Slayer again. The Wolf Rider. Return to Nature. They might not be giving us that foil mythic. If they do, wow, it's at the very end. But I think three foil mythics is pretty good for this product out of ten. Nine boxes, I think. Unnatural Growth again. Holy crap. Overall Oddity again. Cathal Call. I believe we have a complete set of every card. Minus maybe one or two mythic cards, I would say. But we mostly pulled all of them. A lot of crazy good variety here. I don't think we have any duplicate uh, mythic. No, maybe one or two, I'm sure. Slaughter Specialist, Sunrise, Vampire Slayer, last pack. Can we freaking get a foil mythic on the very last pack? That would be cool, huh? Okay, let's see what we got. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Nope. Okay. What did we get? <laughs> hostile. Hostile. Really freaking cool. Wow. What a pack, dude. Last pack. Moss is motherfucking back, baby. Woo! Got ourselves the Hostile Hostile. <laughs> the Hostile Hostile. And a Necro Duality on the last pack. If we get that Mythic right here, I'm going to crap myself. Oh, we would have. I, I really would have. It would have been everywhere. Oh my God! What a climax! Well, that was a nice ending, though. All right, let me uh, let me let me take a look. See what we got going on here. Okay, so here's the uh, the results here. Three foil mythic cards: Maniform Hellkite, Shonda Dress to Kill, Primary uh, Primal Adversary. These two being the more expensive two, I believe. Yeah, she was like sixty. I think she's like fifty now. We'll see how much uh, she goes for. Maniform Hellkite. Probably about 25, 20. Again, don't quote me any of these prices because uh, things are going to change. Primal Adversary, I don't even think I looked up. Um, all the lands, we got a total of 61 Mythic cards. That includes the foils. I got a total of 29 of these sweet lands right here. I didn't organize them or nothing yet, but 29 total. One foil, which is the Death Cap Glade. These lands are like in foil, depending which one you got, between 10 and 30 bucks. So pretty nice price point at the current moment. Um, yeah, there was a, ooh, a cemetery illuminator. Didn't mean to put you there. Sorry, pal. So a, a nice variety of everything we cracked open, man. Um, only one out of the nine boxes. Isn't that insane? Like, that, that's really crazy. Hall Breakers, I know some of you guys like these other cards too, so I did a little bit. Um, oh yeah, for the Mythics, uh, we got a good, good variety of Mythic cards. I'll run through it really quick, just so you can see. I did not sort these yet, so we know duplicates are kind of all over the place. But we're, I don't, I can't think of any off the top of my head that we're missing, but I think we're missing like two. Oh yeah, we pulled three Meat Hook Massacres, which are like 40, 50 a pop, those are nuts. Um, this guy's great too, two dollars. But we got basically every single mythic. I mean, ridiculous, dude. There's our second uh, meat hook massacre, two necro dualities. Whew. I mean, some big value, man. I think every planeswalker. I, I gotta say, I just we might be missing one or two mythic cards. But other than that, we got all of them. <laughs> Can't be missing more than two. And that Ren was sweet. And there's two Autumns of Augur in the back there, which is one of the more impressive cards as well. Uh, bringing in some good money. Here was just a little bit of uh, recap on some of the better cards. Autumn of Otter, one, two, three. I think we had four, four total. Yeah, so out of all that, four. Unnatural Growth, one of the more expensive uh, rares as well. I think we have like three or four of those also. Just some of the more notable rare foils. Um, yeah, prices uh, not... Not figured out just yet. We've got a ways to go. Hallbreaker Horror 4. That was nice. 
Hallbreaker Horror Foil is like 30 bucks. <laughs> it's freaking up there. Uh, Tovalar, uh, he was nice. I mean, the price is probably going to come down. Oh, I, these are regular, not not rares. Or not, uh, not foil. And then here's Memory Deluge. This is currently a, a $9, $10 card, but it's probably going to drop to like $6, $5, 6 after everything settles. Um, again, I could be way off about those, but that is it, man. What do you think? What do you think? If you made it this far in the video, I want you to say, Jelly. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Just say that in the comments, okay? All right, we have fun. It's a good song, man. I just like the voice. Thanks for watching, guys. Skadoosh.